All right, welcome you to the post game. We have our coach Ken Wagner here, joined by players Pablo Cora and Luke Aston. We're going to start with an opening statement from Coach Wagner and then take your questions. Well, I was really pleased with our men. I thought they came out and played real good uh, defense. And, you know, Point Loma, we have a lot of respect for. I think they've run their stuff better than anyone in the league. They're extremely good shooters, and we broke down a few times early, but I was real proud the way we kept after. Would you go ahead? Sure. Um, <clears throat> this is for anyone who wishes to answer. How did the quality of tonight's play for your team, how does that compare to how the team has been performing going into this tournament? Uh, we definitely took a step forward tonight because uh, we haven't been defensively where we wanted to be. So that was our main focus going into this game tonight, and I think we did a really good job. Uh, they run their stuff better than anyone we faced this year. They're really well coached, and I think we did a pretty good job defensively, which was our main focus tonight. Since um, they like to play an up-tempo game, what is the key to defusing their up-tempo attempt? Uh, generally speaking, though, they're uh, one of the best defensive teams. They're t we're probably the most up-tempo in the league, and they're on the other end of the spectrum. They usually make you chase them around all play and then hit a wide open three. So, uh, but we definitely felt that controlling the tempo was critical. How critical was Luke's play, especially in the second half? Well, he hit those big shots, gave us a little breathing room, and kind of opened up the game, but Luke's that kind of shooter. Well, I'm actually more talking about rebounding because there was a period, I think, of about close to six minutes where uh, they didn't get a, sh you know, Point Loma didn't make a shot, Point Loma didn't even get an offensive rebound, and I think uh, Luke got about three three defensive rebounds in that stretch. No, I was proud of that. He's he's an excellent rebounder, and you know we have some very good rebounders, and we just have to do it all the time. Going in against Dixie State, what makes Dixie State unique from the other teams in this conference? And what is the best way to approach them? Do you want the player or myself? Anyone. Well, I think we have like a rivalry with Dixie, and we had a really tough loss against them last year. And I think like they play a similar sort of game to us. They run their seats, they get up in threes. So I think it's, uh, yeah, it's. It's definitely different playing them. I think everyone wants to play good against Dixie just because it's a rival school. And they're very strong inside. They have big kids similar to ours. Mm -hmm. Could you talk about just the, the importance now of these semifinal matchups? We've got uh, literally the top four teams in the region battling against each other tomorrow with Azusa Pacific and Cal Baptist. Dixie and BYU Hawaii. Well, it should be great basketball, and we're excited. We're really looking forward to the challenge when we came here. You know, we felt that we hadn't accomplished what we wanted to this season, and so this is an opportunity for us to, you know, turn it around and play well. And of course, they're all coming, and we'll play their best too. Pablo, your thoughts about uh, this semifinal matchup tomorrow? Uh, it's what we've been waiting for. Just, we know it's going to be tough. Uh, the Pac West this year was the toughest I've seen it all in my four years here at BYU Hawaii. Um, so it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. It's going to be really interesting and fun to play. All right. Thanks a bunch. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks,